Hey guys, I hope that I'm live right now. If you guys are able to listen to me properly as well as there's no issues with the audio or the video, please let me know. Hello everyone. I hope that I'm live right now. Uh, if you guys are able to listen to me properly as well as there's no issues with the audio or the video, please let me know. No issues. Great, great. Good evening everyone. Good evening. Good evening. How are you guys? Is everybody fine? Is everybody all right? Is everybody having a great time? Okay, very few students actually turned up for class today. Is there any problem? Anything that I'm not aware of? Not so good. What happened, Gautam? I have a friend named Gautam and he's a very hardworking person. What happened to you? Good evening, everyone. Good evening. How are you guys? No issues? Great. Amazing guys. Amazing. Sounds good. Sir, sounds good today. Akshay, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, so my uh, throat is a lot better. Uh, almost no pain. Uh, just a little bit of headache is there, but I think so that will uh, go off in a few days or something like that. But yeah, I'm sitting in a place where there is absolute no ventilation, like, uh, like there's no air. It's as if like there's no fan, there's no AC, nothing. It's hot. It's so hot right now. I'm just having so much sweat on my head. I don't even know why. <laughs> okay. Uh, why did the class start now? Because I guess it is the time when the class should start. Subhash Gautam, like I've already said, any problems with the certificates, you can just email it off to certificates at rate devtown dot in Subhash. Okay. Certificates at rate devtown dot in. It's plural. Certificates at rate devtown dot in. Okay. Good. So uh, let me know guys, what have you studied in our yesterday's class? Let me know guys, what have you studied in our yesterday's class? Uh, so somebody is saying tomorrow is the last day of bootcamp. Uh, are you sorry, but no, we will be having one more day of the bootcamp. The bootcamp will be of eight days, not seven days. I'm so sorry for that. Okay. Will that be fine guys? The bootcamp will be of eight days, not seven days. Will that be fine guys? Please let me know. The bootcamp will be of eight days, not seven days. Will that be fine guys? Please let me know. That will be fine. Right guys. Bootcamp will be of eight days, not seven. I'll just pin up this message in the live chat so that anybody who is coming up a bit late is able to identify that, that the bootcamp will be of eight days, not seven. Okay, good. Uh, no issues if you take 10 days. Uh, that's really good to... Uh, listen, so uh, like I said guys, could you guys let me know what have we studied in our yesterday's class? We studied about NPM, good. We studied about Node, right? We studied about our, uh, this as well, right? We studied about NPM, Node and Terminal, right guys? Please let me know. We studied about NPM packages, good. We studied about uh, Terminal commands and we studied about Node as well, right guys? These are the three things that we studied yesterday, if I am not wrong. Oh, ho, there's a lot of sweat, man. Okay, good. Amazing, guys. Amazing. So our today's target is to create a Hello World program in Express, creating our very first uh, website. Okay, our very first backend for a website and we'll call it as the X, uh, as the basics. Okay. Uh, hello world of express. We'll call it as that. Will that be fine guys? Are you guys able to understand what we are going to do today? Okay. We are going to do a very basic thing guys. We are going to create a very basic backend. Okay. Today is our, that, our aim. Okay. Very basic backend using express and uh, that we are going to call it as hello world of backend. Just like whenever we want to start a new programming language, we write the hello world in that particular programming language. Similar to that, we will be doing this for a backend itself. Hello world program for express. That is our aim guys. 
will we be able to do it in mobile divya that is the reason why i am using code sandbox so that anybody and everybody can do this in their mobile phones as well okay so that anybody and everybody can do this in their mobile phones as well so i hope that that is fine with you divya good amazing guys so shall we start with our today's class guys please let me know shall we start uh, with that dia okay i'm so sorry dia so shall we start with our today's class guys please let me know great amazing guys amazing so what we'll do is uh, we'll make this a pop out and we will put this up on the left hand side we'll put this on the right hand side we'll open up our code sandbox guys code sandbox right over here and we will create a we'll create something out there uh we are going to create so should i create a new node http server ah let's create a new uh, node http server why to use the old one okay uh artist uh, uh, you ask the exact same question every single day and i answer the exact same question every single day are you not able to listen to me or something okay so this is done we don't require this let me open this up on the left hand side let me open this one up on the right hand side where is it okay index.js there is our code get a bit smaller why am i not able to see our website okay vs code no we don't want to launch vs code there i'll just use the previous sandbox itself like the previous sandbox that we were using that is amazing <clears throat> okay so this one is opened up but why am i not able to see my browser where is my browser okay terminal okay okay guys so what i'm done is that i have opened up a new uh, node uh, server itself guys suspicious farewell okay this is a new sandbox that i've created uh, of node server okay so it basically comes up with node pre installed for you you don't have to install it that is what it basically means once i have installed it i'm going to uh, once i have opened it up i'm going to click on this particular button add dev tools okay i will click on this particular button guys add dev tools right over here and i'm going to use terminal i want to use terminal guys i'll just uh, use this new terminal right over here as you are able to see the terminal is coming up on the right hand side i will just open this up in a new tab i'm just opening up the terminal on a new tab guys just like yesterday nothing else if you check pwd we are inside of workspace so we are going to create a new folder guys what is the command to create a new folder what is the command to create a new folder guys please let me know what is the command to create a new folder guys please let me know mkdir good mkdir that is the command that we are going to use intro to x p r e s s express okay mkdir intro to express then we are going to go into that particular folder okay as you are able to see pwd we are in present inside of intro to express folder we are going to create a new file to create a new file the command that we use was touch okay to create a new file the command that we use was touch guys so t o u c h touch index.js okay that is the command that we are going to use so we have if you see ls that is list all the files and folders that are there so ls that is list we are able to see that index.js is present now we are going to initialize npm right over here guys now we are going to initialize npm right over here guys what was the command to initialize npm could you guys let me know could you guys remind me what was the command to initialize npm guys could you guys remind me please let me know we have discussed this yesterday right guys what is the command npm in it amazing guys npm in it okay we'll initialize npm okay intro to express good version 1.0.0 description uh hello world back end okay we are going entry point index.js good test command none git repository none keywords none author sure 
Sinha. License same. Yes, we'll create it. Okay, so we have created, we have done npm init, guys. We have done npm init right over here. Next, we are going to search for express. E-X-P-R-E-S-S Express JS. When you go into the very first website by searching Express JS, that is the official website, the official documentation of Express JS, guys. Official documentation of Express JS. We are going to use npm install express hyphen hyphen save. Okay. Where is this? I saw it right now itself. Are you guys able to see this? npm install hy uh, express hyphen hyphen save. This is what we are going to utilize to install express guys. This is what we are going to utilize to install express. Now what does this hyphen hyphen save mean? So basically it basically means that whatever you are installing express that you are installing. Okay. It is being installed globally right now. Okay. Not just in your own file, but globally your entire NPM documentation or NPM file will have express installed. So that is the default mode, which express suggests for you to install express as so we are not going to experiment a lot with it we are just going to utilize it so control c npm install express hyphen hyphen save we are going to paste it inside of our sandbox we'll paste it right over here paste and we are going to run it as it is so it is installing express for us guys it is already installed express for us so express has been installed for us guys express has been installed for us so up till now, whatever I have done is something that we have done it yesterday. There's nothing new that I'm doing right over here, guys. Okay. There's nothing new that I'm doing right over here. Everything that I've done up till now is something that we have done it yesterday as well. There's nothing new that I'm doing right over here. How to install NPM done yesterday. How to create a file, how to create a folder done yesterday. Okay. How to install a package that I want to use using NPM done yesterday. Up till now, whatever we have done is something that is already done yesterday, guys. So I'm not spending a lot of time going slowly and steadily because this is something that we have done yesterday. So not wasting any time. We want to learn something new today, right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into our express and go into getting started and then we are going to choose hello world. So express getting started and then hello world guys. So basically it has given us a small hello world example right over here. Okay, but of course we are uh, not going to use the exact hello world example, but yes, we will be doing it uh, very easy. Uh, so, sir, yesterday we have done something on super villains, but not on express. Uh, so Tamil, uh, if I want to grow an oak tree or a banyan tree in my backyard, the process is the exact same, right? Dig a hole, uproot a tree, shove it inside of that hole. As simple as that. So no matter if I'm working with super villains package, no matter if I'm working with superheroes package, no matter if I'm working with express package, the rules and regulations and the process is the exact same. There's nothing to discuss upon it. <laughs> There's nothing to discuss upon it because the process is the exact same guys. Similar to that. Now everything is different. Okay. Now a little bit is different. Not everything is different. Once you have installed a package guys, once you have installed a package, what is the very first step that we have to do guys? Could you guys let me know? Once you have installed a package, what is the very first step that we have to do? Could you guys let me know? What is the very first step that you have to do once you have installed a package? Could you guys let me know? Yesterday what we did guys after, after we uh, installed our super villains package. What did we do after that guys? We required, we created a const. Okay. We created a const called as super villains and we required the super villains package. Right now we have just installed it. We need to use it. Okay. Right now we have just installed it. We have to use it guys. So for that, I'm going to create a const and that const I'm going to call it as express is equals to require X P R E S S express. This is what I'm doing right over here, guys. Const express is equals to require express, guys. Const express is equals to require express. Are you guys able to see this? Please let me know. Are you guys able to see this? Please let me know, guys. We created a const called as express. 
that basically requires the package express so your entire express package guys your entire express package that you installed is now present inside of a const called as express but you are not going to use that package right it's it's not as simple as the supervillains package that there are just like two methods present inside of it and you are just going to use the supervillains package and just two methods inside of it that's it this is an express package this is going to create the back end of companies that are huge like youtube and instagram and all these type of big companies use a uh, express in their back end so basically it does not has one or two things that you can do with it it has millions of things that you can do with it millions of things so writing express again and again and again is a very redundant thing are you guys able to understand this writing it so every time i want to use something that is present inside of express i have to write express again and again and again it is a redundant thing right or wrong guys please let me know i have to write express a million times right and then i have to write express dot and then the method that i have to use out of it a very long thing right i don't want to do that i don't want to do that i want to nickname it i want to give a nickname to express a very small nickname a very cute and simplistic nickname i want to give it to express so that i don't have to write express again and again and again that is what i want to do so i'm going to create another cons guys now this nickname to be given to express can be anything can be shorya can be kumares can be shashwat can be uh, tanuja anything that you want okay anything that you want but the problem right over here is that there are some conventions you can name it as anything the nickname can be anything guys but there are some conventions so in back end we usually called express as an app because you are creating an application so the nickname that we give to express is called as app guys you can nickname it as anything again i am telling you guys you can nickname it as, as anything but if you don't nickname it as app then most of the time it will be just not good enough for you okay it will be just not good enough for you guys so what we are going to do is we are going to create another constant i will mean, call it as app that is equivalent to express and then parenthesis okay express and then parenthesis so we are basically saving the entire thing inside of a nickname called as app we are saving the entire thing inside of a nickname called as app guys are you guys able to understand this please do let me know are you guys able to understand this please do let me know guys <coughs> now your server so what is the difference between a server and a normal computer guys please try to understand this okay like i've already told you a server does not has a screen that is a very bullshit difference between the two but that was the easiest way of making you understand that a server is a little bit different from your computer although it has the exact same hardware components it will have the same uh, cpu it will have the same gpu it will have the same ram it will have everything that is very similar to what you have in your computer but it your servers is basically used to cater to the requests that are coming to your server okay basically everybody is sending you requests right i want to get this particular website i want to get the html css and javascript files for this particular website i want to show this website to my user these are the login credentials and ids of my user so all these different requests are continuously being thrown to your server now your server basically handles these requests by using something that's called as ports by using something that is called as ports guys are you guys able to understand this please let me know guys are you guys able to understand this guys please let me know so you have something called as ports so in your normal computer your ports are mostly used by your keyboards by your display by your network card all these different items that are there inside of your computer basically utilize the ports of your computer these servers have free ports and plus extra ports that are available so there's a lot of different extra ports that are available for you to use okay so these ports are something that handle these requests that are coming in from various different computers okay so what we are going to do is so 
basically our port will our back end will continuously listen to this particular port okay that any kind of request is coming in uh, so your back end code will continuously be listening on that particular port itself for any requests that are coming in guys so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use app so app dot listen okay i'm going to use the method dot as call as app dot listen guys and this method will continuously listen on that particular port it's only it's only it has only one job guys to listen on that particular port guys nothing else nothing else it has just one particular thing that i will keep on listening to that particular port now in this particular example we are going to use the port uh 3000 okay we are going to use the port 3000 guys now there are various different ports that are present inside of your computer as well as inside of a server as well now why are we using exactly the port 3000 there's a big reason to that there's a very big reason to that guys the reason is very simple uh we don't know which port is being utilized and which port is not being utilized at this particular point of time but there are some ports like 8080, 8090, 8000, okay, 3000. All these ports always are empty. All these ports always are empty, guys. Always. So that is the reason why we are using the port 3000. Because if we use, if we try to use a port that is already being in use by the computer itself, then it would not work. Because it is already in use, right? For example, if you are having a phone, if you are having a phone, somebody is already talking on the phone, how are you going to call it? Okay, you cannot call it because you will, it will come that somebody else is talking right over there. The same reason we are using the port 3000 right over here because we know that it will be empty. Nobody is using it at this particular point of time. It is always empty. So now we are the first ones that are going to use it. So this is our code guys, we are telling our application, we are telling Express to continuously listen for any kind of requests that are coming to uh, this particular server at the port 3000. Okay, so now if we open up our uh, terminal to run this particular code guys, what will be the code that I will be writing to run index.js, what will be the code that I should be writing guys, could you guys let me know. Any other port number, we don't know if it is being used or not. Some of the ports that are always empty are 80, 80, 8000, 3000. These are the ports that are always empty. So hence we are using the port 3000 to make sure that our code basically works. So you guys let me know uh, what is the code that we should be using to run this particular file index.js. Which code to use to run this file index.js guys. Which is the code to run this particular file index.js. What code should I write? What uh, what command should I write to run that particular file, guys? Could you guys let me know? What command should I write to run that particular file? Great. Node index.js. So node, okay, index.js right over here. And that will basically run our code. Now, as you are able to see, it feels as if the terminal has hanged right over here. Other ports 3000. I'll open this up on a new website. As you're able to see, you're getting a particular message on your website. If I'm going to the port 3000, to go to the port 3000, very simple, guys. Again, click on developer tools, click on developer tools, go into other ports, click on 3000 because this is the port that we have currently started. Okay, developer tools, ports 3000 from right over here, and then you open this up on a new tab. So as you are able to see from right over here, you are getting an error message, not an error message guys, you are getting a message saying cannot get forward slash, cannot get forward slash guys. Let's leave it at this itself. Let's again go back to our code. Let's again go back to our code guys. And as you are able to see inside of the terminal, it feels as if the terminal has hanged, right guys, node index.js. And after that, it's blank and the there's nothing that there's nothing that is coming up. It's just a flickering uh, terminal itself. It feels as if the terminal has uh, like got hanged right over here. Are you guys able to see this? Please let me know. It feels as if the terminal has got hacked. So let us uh, stop our uh, server. Okay, right now the server is continuously working. Let's stop it. To stop the server, you have to use Control C twice or Control D once. Okay, control C twice or control D once guys, we are going to do control C twice. 
as you're able to see that basically close your server that closes your server guys so once we have closed our servers if we go back to our website and reload our page uh, you are able to see that it is not working you're getting a 502 error because now our server has been closed now our server has been closed guys so we are going to go back to our code guys and we are going to change some of the things inside of our code the first thing that we are going to do is we need to send a message into the term. We need to get cater to the cannot get message. So we are getting a message cannot get forward slash. Do you guys remember that? Cannot get forward slash. So I told you guys that whenever a website, whenever a web browser basically sends a request to your servers asking for the HTML, CSS and JavaScript file, it sends a get request that get me the HTML, CSS and JavaScript file. Do you guys remember that? Please do let me know. Do you guys remember that? Please do let me know guys. I told you guys, right? That whenever we want to get uh, the HTML, CSS and JavaScript file, we send a get request to that website that get to be the HTML, CSS and JavaScript file so that I can show you guys to the, show that to our user itself, right guys? Please let me know. The same thing is happening right over here as well. The same thing is happening right over here as well. So what we need to do is we need to handle this get request. So what should our backend do when it receives a get request? What should our backend do when it receives a get request guys? So we are going to write app <coughs> dot get that is the method that we are going to use. Okay. That what happens when we get a get request. Now you were getting an error message saying cannot get forward slash. That means the location at which it was receiving a get request. Okay, the location at which it was receiving a get request was the forward slash location. Okay, the root of the website. So whenever you are dealing with uh, folders and files, the root that is where, so for example, www.google.com is present at root location. Then you are having www.google.com forward slash about us. That is another website. That is the about us website. Okay, so forward slash about us. That is the next website. So that is the root location and then you are having some things as well. So it is the root of the website. So we will need to handle the get request that is coming at the root of the website guys. You have to handle the get request that is coming at the root of the website guys. Are you guys able to understand this? Please let me know. Are you guys able to understand this? Please let me know guys. <coughs> So what we are going to do right over here is what happens when we get a get request at the forward slash location. What to do after that? We need to answer that particular question as well. What to do when we get a get request at the root of the website? What to do after that? For that we are going to run a function. Okay, we know how to create a function, right guys? We know how to create a function. We have already learned it in JavaScript, right? So this function will get executed whenever we are getting a get request at the forward slash. Okay, location. That is at the root of the website. Whenever we get any get request at the root of the website itself, then this function should get executed. So first of all, function. Now in this particular function, we are not going to use this function at any particular point of time, right guys? It is only going to get used if we are getting a get request at the forward slash location. Okay, that is at the root of the website. Nowhere else inside of our code we are ever going to use this. So we don't need to name it. Okay, we don't need to name it because we are never going to use it again. It is just for this get uh, request at the root of the website. These are called as callback functions. Nameless, okay, nameless callback functions guys, anonymous callback functions. We call them as anonymous because there is no name because we are never going to use it. So we, there's no need of giving a name to it. Okay. And callback because it only happens whenever we're getting a get request at the uh, root of the website. So function, okay, no name, anonymous. And then in parenthesis, request comma response. Okay. Request comma response. And what does this function do? What does this function do? 
it will just uh, do hello world it will just do a hello world on your screen nothing else we just wanted to do a hello world to your screen guys so we're going to do response so right now you're getting a request that is a get request now you as a backend now you are a backend code you need to send a response okay you are getting a get request okay req that means request now you need to send a res that is response you can need to send a response guys so for that res dot send okay res dot send and then in parenthesis you need to just mention what is the message that you want to send so this is a hello world program so i just want to send hello world to our screen okay that is it this response should send hello world to our website that's it nothing too fancy nothing too complicated about it so this function this anonymous function should be able to do this for us so we are going to save it right over here we are going to go back to our terminal we are going to run our code once again node index.js as you are able to see we are going to press enter we are going to go back to our website we are going to reload our page as you are able to see we are able to see hello world on our screens on our website we are able to see hello world that is not coming from any front end but it is everything is happening in the back end itself guys everything is happening in the back end are you guys able to understand this please let me know are you guys able to understand this? Everything is happening in the backend. This message is being sent because a get request is being coming to our backend and that backend is sending a response back to the front end that show a message that is hello world to your screen. So this is the basic hello world using express guys. You guys have just created the basic hello world using express backend hello world guys. It's as simple. It's no, nothing too complicated. Everything that we are doing is basically what we have learned previously. We are just utilizing those topics, adding a little bit more uh, salt and pepper to it to create something new. That's it. There's nothing new that is coming up to us. Just a little bit like level up that we are doing to any of our theory that is there that we have done yesterday as well. How to connect with HTML and CSS? Of course, that also we will be seeing. That is the reason why we are having this bootcamp. That is the reason why I have extended the number of days of the bootcamp by one more day as well. So instead of having the bootcamp for seven days, I'm having it for eight days. So that I'm able to teach you guys all the different stuff, get requests, handling great requests with HTML, CSS and JavaScript, handling uh, post requests, all these things. So you don't have to worry about it. Everything will be taught to you guys. Okay. But this is the one of the basic things that I wanted you guys to understand. So somebody in this live chat has also done the hello world. So yes, hello world is also there in the live chat. Great. Okay. <clears throat> Good guys. Amazing. 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 So everybody is able to understand this, right guys? Now I want you guys to level up your functions. Okay. This is a shitty ass function right over here, guys. I'm very sorry to say, but this is shitty ass function on our screen, guys. We need to level up our functions. So I'll be introducing something to you guys called as arrow functions, guys. Okay. Instead of using anonymous callback functions, we are going to use arrow functions right over here. Okay. Again, just to level up our concepts of functions. So that is arrow functions. So arrow creating an arrow function is very simple. Okay. First write an anonymous callback function. Once you have written an anonymous callback function, remove the term function from right over here. Remove the term function from right over here. Remove the uh, curly braces from here. Remove the curly braces from here guys. Put up an arrow right over here equal to arrow. Put up an arrow right over here guys. Remove the semicolon from right over here and you have just converted your code from an anonymous uh, callback function to an arrow function. We have just converted our code from an anonymous callback function to an arrow function guys. First of all, we have to write less amount of code right over here. Easy to understand and very fast when compared to your anonymous callback functions. These are the three reasons why we use our arrow functions guys. There are three reasons that we use arrow functions. So what are the three steps to convert an anonymous callback functions to an arrow function guys? First, remove function guys. First, remove the term function. Okay. First, remove the term function. Second step, remove the curly braces. Second step, remove the curly braces. Third step, remove the uh, semicolon. And that is how, and then add, add the uh, arrow as well. The name says arrow function, add the arrow function right over here. So that basically creates, okay, that basically creates an arrow function for you. Okay, three reasons why it is so important. First of all, less amount of code that you have to write. Okay, 
वेरी इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड इंटरप्रेट थर्ड वेरी फास्ट वेन कंपेयर टू नॉर्मल नॉर्मल एनोनमस कॉल बैक फंक्शन गाइज एंड दिस इज वॉट इज कॉल एस एरो फंक्शन ओके Are you guys able to understand this? Please let me know. Great guys, Tamil, amazing. Okay, so are you guys able to understand this? Is everybody able to understand this, guys? Please let me know. Is everybody able to understand this? Please let me know, guys. Amazing. So, can I give you a small assignment for today? Can I give you a very small assignment for today, guys? Will you guys be interested in doing a very small assignment for today? Please let me know. See whatever assignments that I give you guys, you don't have to worry. I'm never going to take it from you. I'm never going to check it as well. See whenever I give you guys an assignment, I expect you guys to actually do it. Okay, there's a reason behind it. If you guys do your assignments properly, okay, then the chance of you succeeding in understanding the concepts, in clearing your doubts, is very high. And it is going to be a very simple assignment, guys. I want you guys to create the exact same Hello World program. That's it. That's it. Nothing less, nothing more. Can you guys do that? Please let me know. Can you guys create this exact same Hello World program as an assignment? Instead of doing Hello World, write your own name right over there. You will feel nice. I'm telling you. Okay, creating development is about creating stuff. When you see your own name coming up on a website, when you see whatever you're building coming up on your website, share it with your friends as well. Share it with your friends that this is a website I've created with my own name coming up on my website itself. Okay, and uh, please try to do it. A very small assignment, guys. Try to create this Hello World application on your own. Okay, take reference from this web, uh, video. Okay, where can you find this video? Many people were asking me that. I don't know if you guys know about YouTube or not. So for example, this is my uh, channel. Okay, this is my channel right over here. So inside of this channel, guys, you can go to live session. Okay, home video shots and then live is right over here, guys. Inside of live, you will be able to find all the video recordings for all our boot camps. Even this particular boot camp, guys. All the boot camp, all the recordings, you will be able to find it right over here. You can take a reference to this particular video to create that. Of course, do not worry about it. Uh, so try to do it. Okay, please make. So can you please repeat? Const Mukesh Kumar Yadav. We have done that yesterday. So basically, const means constant value. Okay, just like variables, but variables can change its value itself. Var can change its value, but pi is equal to three point one four. We cannot change its value, guys. We cannot change its value. It needs to be a constant. So for that, JavaScript has another method of creating a variable that is called as a constant. Const. So instead of creating it var pi is equal to three point one four, which can be changed, we're going to create it as const pi is equal to three point one four. That is always going to remain constant. You cannot change it. You can only use it. You cannot modify it. Okay? Are you guys able to understand this? Please let me know, guys. Try to do the uh, thing in code sandbox itself, guys. Try to do the uh, uh, like. Thing in the code sandbox itself, it will be very helpful for you guys. Okay, because it is already deployed, so you can share the website with anybody that you want. Okay, are you guys able to understand this? Please let me know, guys. Good guys, amazing, amazing. Okay, one more thing, guys. I wanted you guys to know that. Uh, okay. So do you guys know that we also organize like an internship and a training thing as well? Do you guys know about it or you guys have no idea about it? Do let me know. Do you guys have any idea about it or you guys have no idea about it that we also organize something like a training and an internship that is there or you guys have no idea about it? Why do you guys have no idea about it? I don't know. Some of the students are like, yes, we know. Some of the students are like, nah, what are you talking about? Okay. Um, okay. Why, why? Okay. So why do you guys have no idea about it? Okay. No issues in that. So I'll just brief you guys about it guys. So in the previous bootcamp, we, um, uh, started with our, uh, training and internship program and, uh, we got, uh, 60 seats that were there inside of the class itself, but, uh, we still have some 20 seats remaining as of this particular point of time. So, uh, we organize these three months training and internship programs, uh, and we have our collaborations with a lot of different companies. 
so i don't i i thought that you guys must be knowing about it that is the reason why i never introduced it to you guys so basically we have our collaborations with companies like cognizant deloitte pcg that is bonson consulting group kpmg tata accenture british airways we have our uh, thing with cisco commonwealth bank jb morgan and chase lift amazon accenture walmart infosys and hp as well as for cyber security we are having mastercard anz jb morgan and chase and pwc right over here so we organize these three and a half months training and internship guys wherein we train you guys for three months okay for three months we train you guys with everything that you want for example we start off with c++ java data structures and algorithms competitive programming and then for example if you choose full stack web development so front end back end uh, devops cloud computing to a advanced level like from the most basic to the most advanced level as well along with projects and everything and then we uh, give you guys both the options so we give you guys 3 months of internship certificate with devtown as well as 1 month of guaranteed internship with one of these companies one month of guaranteed internship with one of these companies which even we have big companies like walmart amazon and jp morgan and chase as well these are very big companies right now with an average placement so this one month of guaranteed internship is guaranteed there is no exam there is no uh, project submission or something like that there is no interviews nothing it's a one month guaranteed unpaid internship with these companies wherein you will be getting the certificates as well for the internship now because in this 3 and a half months you will be having uh, your entire training that will be going on uh, so we will be teaching you guys everything there is no cost associated with this uh, when it comes to our uh, internship so this one month guaranteed internship has no cost associated with it it is completely for free okay we don't charge anything for that we only charge for the uh, training program okay for the three months of training that we provided to you guys we charge for that because first these internships are only available if you guys are completed your training because then these that is the basic process of getting selected right over there that's it okay we have students from first year second year third year fourth year we have students from civil chemical mechanical we have students uh, from uh, commerce and every background out there we get all these students we train them up in 3 months and then we place we get the one month internship we have our own placement drives we place almost 800 to 900 students every single month and if you are doing well in this one month internship you get in paid internship opportunities and placements in these companies as well the entire training the entire internship is completely online the entire training and the entire internship is completely online okay completely online guys we do not conduct this offline because again most of our students that join us are college students or are currently working in some company so due to that particular reason they cannot be joining us at any particular point of time itself that is the reason why uh we conduct this may i know the packages they are getting so the average package right now is 15.3 lakhs uh, per annum the highest uh, package was uh, 60 lakhs via google and uh, the lowest package that we have got up till now is 9 lakhs per annum via accenture and infosys so these are the uh, package rates that we have up till now the cost of the training program plus the one month internship the entire cost is 3500 rupees plus 18% gst 3500 rupees plus 18% gst <coughs> so can you guys let me know how many of you guys are interested for that see without training uh, see if you are planning to get into iit bombay or uh, iit madras without getting a good coaching you cannot get into that it's as simple as that if it was possible it is just one in a billion student that is able to do it not everybody the same thing goes on right over here guys as well okay that we make sure that you guys are getting ready for it and you guys are able to get into it as well as simple as that as simple as that guys so if you guys are interested in that okay 2018 uh, batch eligible for placements of course you are you are you don't have to worry about it so uh, for those guys who are interested in that for civil which course is best go with full stack web development guys see if you are interested to talk to me okay it's very simple okay if you want placements please listen to me very carefully guys i'm 
I always speak the truth. Yes, we have data science, we have a cyber security as well. But if you guys are looking for good placements, wherein you are getting a good package as well, go for full stack web development. Just close your eyes and go with full stack web development, guys. Placements are good, great salaries are coming in 15 lakhs, an average package of 15 lakhs to students that are not even completed their college as well is amazing. Is amazing. Okay. Like it is not looked at at any particular point of time, guys. Like that is the only reason why I'm suggesting you guys, yes, the package for data science is also 12 lakhs per annum, almost average package is coming. But 15 lakhs for a person who has not even completed the college is amazing right over there, guys. Amazing. So yes, uh, we have students from Africa. We have students from, uh, we have students from Pakistan, Africa. We have students from Bangladesh, Spain, USA, UK. We have uh, some students who are joining us from Nepal as well. So yes, international students can also join into the program. Okay. Um, Okay, so somebody is asking, sir, but now recession is going on by companies. Ayush Mishra, this month we have placed 10 students in Google, Google, 9 students in Microsoft and 40 students combined in uh, Walmart and Flipkart. So uh, that is the current placements and we have placed for the first time Devtown itself have placed 900 students in one month, 900 students in one month, guys. Uh, yes, Ganesh, you are also eligible for that. Anybody who wants to grow themselves, anybody who's looking out for getting their first IT job or get switching their job from one company to other, they can definitely go through this program. We have made sure that we have done everything for you guys. So could you guys let me know uh, how many of you guys are interested in this? Please let me know guys. Because we only have 20 seats ready right now. It's first come first basis. Okay. DSA will also be there in full stack because without that placements are not going to come in. Okay, data structures and algorithms, competitive programming, C++, Java, your entire full stack web development. And the only prerequisite, the best part is that the only prerequisite is you should be able to understand English. That's it. You should only be able to understand English. That's the only prerequisite guys. Only prerequisite. Nothing else. Nothing else. If you are able to understand English, everything else we will teach you guys. You don't have to worry. If you don't even know what is programming, we'll start from there. We'll take you to the highest level. You don't have to worry about it. Okay. <coughs> uh, Sahil, yes, we have placed a lot of students in the uh, foreign aspect as well with remote placements. So you don't have to worry about it. So for those guys who are interested, what you can do is you can message to me on this particular WhatsApp number. Either me or somebody from my team will uh, reach out to you guys and will help you guys out with their enrollment process. Like I said, guys, the uh, registration is the cost of the program is 3,500 rupees plus 18% GST. For those guys, I'm giving you guys five minutes. Okay, I'm giving you guys five minutes. For those guys who are interested to join the program, you guys can join uh, by messaging on this particular WhatsApp number, guys. Okay. See, we have taken in students in their first year, second year, third year, fourth year. You don't have to worry about it. We are teaching you guys everything. We are not teaching you guys web development. We are teaching you guys the entire product management. We are teaching you guys front end, back end, DevOps, cloud. You can do your freelancing, you can do whatever you want to do. And some of our students, so we make you guys create the uh, book my show application, the complete book my show application, the complete Zomato application. And our students usually sell these applications off of 15,000, 40,000 rupees for on freelancing websites itself. So you can also do that. Okay. So we have already provided you guys with the WhatsApp link guys for those guys who are interested, please message on this particular WhatsApp number. Somebody from our team will reach out to you guys very soon and will help you guys out with the enrollment process guys. Okay. So I am providing, I've provided you guys with this particular WhatsApp number. Okay. Uh, the entire uh, internship will be happening online itself because most of our students are college students. These companies also understand that. So it will be a self-paced internship that will be happening online. So you don't have to worry about it. Crazy devil. So the, you have to complete your registration within four days. Yes, we are having some EMI options also available. You don't have to worry about it. Can we decide the internship place? Nikhil, that is a decision that will be left to you. We'll be guiding you in which company will be suitable for you, but you will have to decide which company that you want to go for. 
ओके सो व्हाट इज द कॉस्ट एंड टाइमिंग्स ऑफ द ट्रेनिंग प्रशांत झा द ट्रेनिंग विल बी ऑफ थ्री थ्री एंड हाफ मंथ्स इट सेल्फ द रिकॉर्डिंग्स विल बी गिवन टू यू विद लाइफ टाइम एक्सेस यू कैन डू द इंटर्नशिप आफ्टर सिक्स मंथ्स आफ्टर एट मंथ्स आफ्टर ट्वेल्व मंथ्स एज वेल दर इज नो इश्यूज इन दैट यू कैन टेक एज मच टाइम इट रिक्वायर्स टू कंप्लीट द एंटायर ट्रेनिंग यू डोंट हैव टू वरी अबाउट इट ओके वी विल बी हेल्पिंग गाइज आउट विद एवरीथिंग फ्रॉम प्रिपेयरिंग यू गाइज about it and everything that is there okay is laptop required for internship mukesh no you can utilize uh, repelit you can utilize aws code spaces and you can utilize uh, code sandbox for your internship as well we'll be helping you guys out with that for those people who are interested in that please message on this particular whatsapp number either me or somebody from our team will be reaching out to you guys they will be calling you they will be reaching out to you and they will be helping you guys out with your registration please make sure that you are uh, starting your registration today itself because we only have 20 seats available okay and if the seats are getting filled up we will not be taking in any more students okay Sorry, sir. Can people who are already working join Dev Town? Navya, of course. There's no issues in that. We, the oldest person that I've ever taught was 55 years old, and uh, she was working with uh, Accenture at that particular point of time. That is the oldest person that I have ever taught in my entire life. <laughs> I didn't knew about it. Okay. uh is it not not possible to uh, pa from pakistan kindly uh, okay uh, king chaudhry tried to approach this particular whatsapp number okay they have a particular method they will help you guys out okay try to approach this whatsapp number share your problems they will help you out with that okay which company is best according to you in full stack development if you talk about it then companies like aws jb morgan chase walmart are the best if you talk about uh, your cyber security then yes uh, mastercard is the best and if you talk about your uh, previous version that is um what was his name jigra science then uh, british airways is the best guys okay aws is basically amazon okay it's basically amazon uh prince sir pre registration is done what will be the next process so prince somebody will be reaching you out with the post registration once the registration is complete you can start off with your program okay yes uh it is available the internship is available for everybody for international students as well okay sir is any internship from april because we have semesters gorav singh you can register yourself right now whenever you want to start your uh, internship even after april as well you can do that we will help you out with that but right now we only have 20 seats okay what does google prefer full stack uh, no google will prefer uh, data scientist as well as full stack So these are the two programs that uh, Google will prefer the most. The cost of the entire program will be three thousand five hundred rupees plus eighteen percent GST. You can uh, so guys, uh, if you want to save your seat, okay. If you want, uh, so what about uh, Deloitte for data analysts? It's good, Aditi. It's great. Okay, you don't have to worry about it. For those guys who want to register their seats right now as well. you can pay the pre registration fees so basically you have to pre register your seat by tonight okay by paying some 500 rupees plus 18% gst once you have pre registered your seat the rest of the 3000 rupees plus 18% gst you can pay it in the next 4 days to completely register your seat guys okay so uh, 3500 rupees plus 18% gst okay that is the entire cost okay <clears throat> so uh, anything for game development see a uh, game development is something that has no placements and we only cater to those programs in which we can provide placements to our student if there is any backlog can we apply varsha yes you can apply but i will still suggest to clear off your backlog okay how much cost of 18% so it is 3500 rupees plus 18% gst that is almost 4100 rupees almost 4100 rupees itself Rackler Gaming, yes, in data analyst, uh, data mining is also included. Okay, uh, Rohit, like I said, three thousand five hundred rupees plus eighteen percent GST. That is taxes. Okay, that is taxes to be paid to the government. So the total cost, including the taxes, comes out to be four thousand one hundred rupees. Okay, that is taxes. That is something that we are not going to. uh pay so that is something that you have to make sure that okay so if you guys are interested guys the boot camp is getting over i'll be sharing the attendance link right now 
okay uh, you guys can uh, send a message to this particular whatsapp number with all your doubts and your queries either me or somebody from my team will be reaching out to you guys will be solving your doubts and will be helping you guys out with the entire thing guys okay uh, sir i am 12th in case below 60% i got board uh, placement harsh yadav nobody fucking cares about what you got in 12th nobody cares about it being very frank in 12th standard i had uh, 70% nobody looked at my 12th standard records i didn't even put it inside of my resume as well nobody cares about it tata infosys giving internship yes panda then in internship any uh, have any lecture by uh... okay i'm not able to understand dheeraj uh, your question could you repeat your question so for pre registration how can we pay ganesh you can uh, contact on this particular whatsapp number they will help you guys out with the registration please guys contact on this particular whatsapp number right now if you are interested in the training and internship program it comes up with 3 months of dev town internship certificate and 1 month of the uh, internship certificate by the company of your choosing okay by the company of your choosing guys So for placement, they have criteria like more than seventy percent. Usually for twelfth standard, they don't have any criteria. Okay, right now they don't have any criteria. For those guys who are interested, please reach out on this particular WhatsApp number. Somebody from Dev Town will be reaching out to you guys very soon. Okay, <clears throat> job opportunities in London, Sahil. Go for full stack development. Go for full stack development, guys. I'm going to create the attendance link right now, guys. I'm going to create the attendance link. Give me a second, guys. I'm going to create the attendance link for today. Give me a second. Can I tell twelfth pass guy get an internship? See, at the end of the day, if you're working hard, yes, the guaranteed internship is already there, so you don't have to worry about it. The guaranteed internship is already there. Okay, but if you are interested to get a placement, we will help you guys out. But for a twelfth pass, freelancing would be a better opportunity for you. there will be doubt sessions as well guys you don't have to worry so handle your doubts there will be doubt sessions and everything so you don't have to worry about that guys cyber security course is also available like i said we have data analyst okay as you are able to see right over here we are having data analyst and software engineer cognizant deloitte bcg kpmg tata asenjer british airways one month guaranteed internship for uh, tata is for data analyst guys then you are having a full stack and uh, software engineer then they are having uh cisco commonwealth bank jb morgan chase lift amazon accenture walmart infosys hp and then you are having your cyber security and software engineering mastercard anz jb morgan and chase and pwc guys so doubt session and everything will be there guys you don't have to worry about it okay it will be there uh like i said guys lifetime access to the program you don't have to worry about it yes english is important there is no going about it like i said guys uh, if you uh, want to get into you want to get the one month guaranteed internship you can contact us on this particular whatsapp number and we'll be helping you guys out with that right i'm sharing the attendance link as well zero jadav whatever your doubts and questions are you can contact on that particular whatsapp number itself right now we are running out of time okay uh, so is the pre registration is for 500 rupees plus 18 percent gst that is just the pre registration okay after that it's 3000 rupees so the complete program is 5 3500 rupees plus 18 percent gst yes everybody has to pay taxes to the government there is no going about it i have provided you guys with the attendance link as well for those guys who want to register for the program okay for those guys who want to register for the program uh, or you have any questions or queries you can reach out to the whatsapp number in the live chat i have already pinned it up in the live chat guys as you are able to see i have already pinned up the um, link for the whatsapp number in the live chat okay as you are able to see this is the whatsapp number if you have any questions or queries you can reach out to us on this particular whatsapp number and we will be helping you guys out with the same i need to change the name Eight is six. Six. Okay, so I've changed the name, guys. I've changed the name. Okay, I've changed the name right over here. I'm going to paste the link two three times. Okay, so this is the attendance link, guys. I've changed the name. I've changed the name to day six. I've pasted the attendance link once again. The I've changed the name to day six, guys. I've changed the name to day six. I've pasted the attendance link right over here. 
So if you guys want to register for the program in the live chat, I've already provided you guys with the WhatsApp number. You can message on that particular WhatsApp number with any kind of question or queries that you guys are having and we will help you guys out with the same. Okay, any kind of questions that you guys are having, you can. Uh, so even if you choose a company now, can we change a company of interest later? Dakshina, of course you can do that. We'll be helping you guys out with the same. So we send out an email to the company initially that somebody is interested. But if you are interested in another company, we take out your name from the list and we send it to the other company. So these companies are very uh, helpful for to us with this. Uh, so you don't have to worry about it. Like I said, guys, I've already provided you guys with the attendance uh, link. So what is your thoughts on BAS? So for BAS Dixit, it's good. Okay, but only for freelancing projects in uh, big companies, they don't use it at any particular point of time. I've changed the name, guys. I've changed the name Hethvi. Day 6, I've changed it. So if you guys are interested in the training and internship program, you guys can uh, message us on this particular WhatsApp number. Or you can uh, just like send a message. That's it. Okay, even if you have any questions or any queries, send a message. As soon as the, uh, so if the seats are getting filled up, so they will just message you that the seats are filled up. We cannot take in any more students. It is basically first come first play, paces itself. So thank you so much guys. We'll meet tomorrow. Bye guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.